All right, well, a staggering new statistic from the U.S. Census Bureau. The figures from 2012 show that nearly 110 million Americans are receiving some form of welfare. That's more than a third of our population. Think about that. Stuart Varney, host of Varney and Company on the Fox Business Network, joins me now. Stuart, uh, that is an astounding it is. reality in the uh, United Martha, States of America. I I've got two reports for you which show what America has become and how we, in fact, recognize the change in what we have become. As you pointed out, 110 million people receive something from the government because of low income or special need. It might be food, medical care, housing subsidy, heating subsidy. There's been a steady growth, a strong growth, in welfare during the Obama years. There's a shift towards welfare in those years. Item number two, it's a report from Pew, the survey people. They asked, are you middle class or upper class? Do you consider yourself in that, that category? 2008, 72% said, yeah, upper class, middle class. 2014, 57% said middle class. That is a huge decline and the number of people who think, yes, I am a middle American. That is a significant shift. It's obviously occurred because of the Great Recession and the rather weak recovery. It's also occurred because we've shifted the nature of American society to much more towards a welfare society along European lines. It's a big shift, Martha. It, 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 it is. It's a huge shift. And, and you think about, you know, those programs were designed 50 years ago, many of them, uh, to sort of help people who fell through the cracks, to, to get them over the bridge, to be a gap provider for the time when someone was out of work, to sort of, you know, boost them along so nobody in this country has to go hungry. But what's happened is, and there's a really interesting study in this report, Stuart, that I'd like your, you know, your comment mm -hmm. on, is that when you combine all these programs, many people out there have figured out, you know what, that's almost $20 yes. minimum wage for me, uh, as opposed to seven twenty five minimum wage. So I'm actually better off if I combine these government programs, right? It's it, well, it's become a trap. Yep. It's a trap that keeps people out of the middle class, stops them from moving up the food chain into the middle class. Because if you're getting, say, in some generous states, the equivalent of $20 an hour through government handouts of various kinds, that's sure better than getting seven twenty-five minimum wage or even ten or twelve dollars an hour. You have no incentive to get out there, work, and move up that food chain. It's a trap and it keeps you down. Yeah. That's what we've become. Scary scenario. It Thank is. you, Stuart. We'll see you sure. later.